Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the Pacific Regional Workshop on Cybercrime Legislation. The Australian Government is pleased to co-host this workshop with the Council of Europe and the Secretary of the Pacific Community. As many of you are aware, the Australian Government is committed to helping Pacific countries strengthen the rule of law and protect human rights. This workshop is part of that commitment to ensure that we are working collaboratively with our Pacific neighbours to develop strategies and approaches to law and justice that are appropriate to local circumstances and contexts. The workshop is part of a broad suite of law and justice assistance that the International Legal Assistance Branch in the Attorney General's Department is delivering to Pacific Island countries. Indeed, my section, the Pacific section, is currently delivering capacity building assistance to review and reform criminal and police legislation in eight Pacific Island countries, all of which I'm pleased to say are represented here today. The importance of tackling cybercrime is well documented. The rise in the use of computers and the internet has allowed criminal activity such as money laundering and identity theft to become more sophisticated and difficult to detect. It has also opened up new criminal opportunities, including denial of service attacks, which can have serious economic impacts on businesses and prevent citizens from accessing services delivered by governments online. The internet has made it significantly easier for criminals to operate from abroad, especially from those countries where regulations and enforcement arrangements are weak. For this reason, it is critical that laws are designed to combat cybercrime which are harmonised, or at least compatible, to allow cooperation internationally to tackle this growing and global problem. The Council of Europe Convention on Cybercrime is the only binding international treaty on cybercrime. The Convention serves as a guide for nations developing comprehensive national legislation on cybercrime and insists in ensuring that laws to combat cybercrime are compatible across states. As cybercrime is a global issue, the Convention provides a system to facilitate international cooperation between signatory countries. The Convention, when implemented domestically, will enhance the ability of law enforcement agencies to collect, share and receive information to assist domestic and foreign investigations. I am pleased to say that Australia is currently progressing towards accession to the Convention. Australia already has laws in place that comply with a number of articles in the Convention. However, significant work, I can say, has still been required to analyse our compliance against the Convention. This has highlighted that legislative amendments are necessary to our laws as well to enhance domestic investigative procedures, to enhance international cooperation and to look at amendments to our existing criminal laws as well. Australia views our accession and wider accession to this treaty as an important part of broader international efforts to strengthen cooperation on cybercrime. Given Australia's work to date towards accession to the Convention, the Australian Government views this workshop as particularly timely. It provides an ideal opportunity for Australia to share with you how we are going about accession to the Convention, including the work we have done on analysing our current laws against the articles of the Convention. I hope to pass some of those lessons we have learned along the way to assist you all in undertaking similar process to strengthen your cybercrime legislation and perhaps move towards accession should you wish to look at that. Of course, over the workshop, you will not only learn the benefits of the Convention in tackling emerging, this emerging threat, but also come away with the tools you need to analyse your existing laws and understand the steps you need to undertake to strengthen those laws. This will ensure your countries are well placed to tackle the threat of cybercrime. I look forward to working with you all over the next three days and continuing to work with you all across the broader range of projects that the Australian Government is progressing collaboratively with many of you under Australia's framework for law and justice engagement with the Pacific. Thank you.